In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and complete setup of your brother MFC 2710DW printer. So let's do the unboxing. That's the ink toner. First step is to install the ink toner. So lift this section up, move it out. So that's the ink toner that comes with this printer. Look for an end to open. Now remove the seal from both sides. So the chip should be facing down like this and you can hold it from here and slide it in so place it in the position make sure it has reached up to the end and it's secure now close this section and close this door plug in the power cable once we install the ink toner we are ready to use it and the next step is to load the paper Paper tray is at the bottom, so we can just pull it out, adjust the size, you can use A4 size and legal paper. Now close it, confirm on the screen. Next step is to do the Wi-Fi setup of this printer. So go to the display panel, click on the menu button, scroll down, select network. You get the first option wired LAN. If you have that, you can plug it in or you can go for the Wi-Fi and press OK. Also we have Wi-Fi direct. Press OK on the Wi-Fi. The first option is Setup Wizard. Select it. It will search for available Wi-Fi networks. Now scroll down. You can select your Wi-Fi network from here. Press OK. Enter the password of your Wi-Fi. Entering the password is quite easy. You just have to use this keypad. For example, if I have to enter capital A. So that's on the number 2. Press it once again and until you see the capital A. So once you do it, now go to the next. I'm going to enter a digit, so for example 7, then go ahead. For example, I have to enter capital F, so so once you get it there, then click go ahead. Once you enter the password, you have to press the OK button and apply the settings. Connected, press OK. So we are connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now we are going to add the printer in a Windows laptop so that we can do wireless printing and scanning. Printer is already ready for the copy, but still we have to do the complete setup. So go to the web browser and type in brother MFC L 2710DW driver. Select downloads with the name of your printer. It will automatically detect if it's Windows or Mac. And select your operating system like if it's a Windows 
1064 for Windows 10 32 bit and press OK. On the next page it displays full driver and software package recommended. Select it. Scroll down. Agree with the download. Open file. Click yes. So this is the download window. Click on the next. You can select the language and go next. Accept terms and conditions. So select the first option wireless network Wi-Fi and click next. Printer is already connected to the Wi-Fi so it should show up here. So select brother MFC, next, select the recommended download and click next. You can also download the paper port, that's a software that helps to organize and access, edit, share and manage documents and images on your program. So click on the install and just click OK. So I'm just not going to install right now and click next. Click next. Software installation is successful. Finish. It will take you to the brother website where you can register your product. So I'm just going to do it later. Close all the windows. And it will ask you to check for the software updates if you want you can do it now or you can do it later so once you do the complete installation we can go to the search section type in brother i print and scan app open this app we have to add our printer in this app we have to add the printer so select the option select your machine Select MFC L2710DW series and press OK. OK. So that's our printer with estimated level of ink left in the cartridge. Now we can start using it for printing and scanning. For example to print, click on a print icon, select a photo or a document to print. and click on the next you can also change the size of the paper layout you can print one two or four pages just on the one page and you can also select if you want to do the two-sided printing so that is like the long edge and the short edge and then click on the print button paper output tray is here you can just open this Let's see the print result. So that is here. So it has printed the way it was. And the next thing is to do the scanning. For scanning we can place any page on the top scanner. For the scanning we can use the top ADF tray. We can also use the scanner bed. So I'm just going to use the ADF tray. So place it here. Automatically it will find it out. Now in the app section, in the app go to the home button. Click on the scan. If you want to change any details you can do it and then click on the scan icon. Scan is done and we can see the scan is easily transferred to the laptop. From here you can send it to the PC, send it to the cloud services or you can just save it. So
so this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning thanks for watching